Welcome to this discussion of how to organize your day. Hello, I'm Susan Easterbrooks, one of the many people who contributed to the development of the Foundations for Literacy intervention. This intervention is targeted to specific skill development within a small segment of your day, and so it's important to have all your materials readily available. You will watch this presentation after you're familiar with the teacher's guide, the materials themselves, and the unit plans. If you have not yet reviewed the teacher's guide, the instructional materials, and the unit plans, please do so now and return to this presentation. Otherwise, continue. You can watch this as often as you need. Now let's watch an example of how Julie plans to teach. This segment will take about six minutes, so be sure to give yourself plenty of time. So when I'm setting up for my day, I would get my day one bin out, and then I would see what needs to go first. So usually I do the sequencing cards first. So I would set up like the Miss Giggle story, the song, the plan, and the look and listen. So then I would pull out my lesson plan. So I see I have all of these. I know what order I need to put my things in. So that's the way that I set it up right here. So I know I'm gonna be sitting here. So everything is in order so I can literally turn and grab, turn and grab. So on this particular lesson, the first thing we're supposed to do is review the sound card A. Or K, K. So then I already have the large sound card right here. So I have it ready to go for all the kids to say K. Following with a review of sounds, and that's a fluency chart. So that way I can go child by child, and instead of pointing to our small sound cards, then I can just do one line of the fluency chart per child. How would you modify that for children who were not working at such a high level? If I wasn't working with children at such a high level, then I wouldn't do just the sounds, like the um, graphemes. I would go to just to the sound picture cards. Yep, and I have all of those over here. So if a child's having a problem remembering um, maybe one of those sounds, and you could always come over here, be like, remember? The letter O makes the sound O, because Kate was scared of that B. Remember, she said O, O, O. So we also have these. So you have an option of the picture or the grapheme. Okay, and next, after you do the review of the sounds, is the Miss Giggle Friends and Story. So I already have that set up over here. So after I would do this, I would grab what would be right here, which is the story and all my cards. And I think the biggest thing that you need to do with this, all of the highlighted words that you think are appropriate for your children, you need to already have them in order. So as I, like this one, you've already done it. So as I read this first picture, like I'm showing it to the kids as I read the first part, and as those keywords come up, I would put the vocabulary pictures down. And one thing that I find helpful is for the first picture card, I put all of those in one line. And then when I go to the second picture card, then I would have another line of the vocab for that one. So that way it gives the children again an idea of the first, the next, then, and last. Do you always read the card? Usually I read it, but if there, sometimes I can just look at the picture and talk about it. You don't have to be, you know, so strict with it. As long as I know that I'm hitting up the main parts that are what I'm trying to hit, then it's okay. So then I would finish that. The next thing is the song. And I already have my song here ready to grab. And usually when I'm doing the song, I will sing it first so they get an idea of the melody and the words and then I'll have them join in for the second time. The next part of this day was to make a plan. And that's what we have here. The kids helped to make a plan on baking a cake. They're very excited about this one. <laughs> and so um, when we're doing this, I, I try to scaffold and I give them some language and ask some questions, trying to pull out what it is that they need. Um, and I remind them of, you know, what, did, what was Pete doing? What did he need? What did Kate do? What did Miss Giggle ask them? And usually I help them guide into like a good sentence. So for like the first one, and I use picture cards, 
we need, and they had to help me remember, what do you need to make a cake? They needed cake mix, oil, and eggs to make the cake, cake batter. Um, and as you can see, like what I did, I use the picture cards that are the vocabulary words that we're working on. I'll put them up here so that way they have a piece that they can read. And I also, one thing I do is I highlight the function words that we have worked on um, throughout the year. I highlight those with a different color and I tell them, you know that word. You can read that one. What is it? And. So then when we read these, we need, they can say cake mix, they can say oil, and then they get excited that they know that function word. They can say and eggs to make the, you know that word, what is it? The. And that's how we make our story. The first thing that we do after we do a little bit of a review of the sounds is the children tell me, what are we gonna do first? The Miss Giggle story, then sing a song. Next, make a plan and last, look and listen. After we finish each one of these, I ask a particular child to come take it down. So we've done our story, we're finished with it, we can take it down, and I'll ask one of the children to come up, pull down the first, pull down the card, and they'll go set it down on the floor. That way it's a nice visual of then what's next? Sing a song. After the song's finished, then I would ask one of the children to come up and take the then and the song off and go put it down. Um, I put these up here so that you could see what the day was going to look like. All classrooms are different. In time, you will figure out the organizing strategy that works best for your situation. For more information, visit our website, foundationsforliteracy.gsu.edu.